Hi, I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Welcome to Ham Radio Ventures. Today, we're going to look at an inverter from Ampeak. Uh, an inverter is something that you use 12 volt to it, and it comes out 110. And this is the, uh, the 1200 pure sine wave. So let's go unbox this and see what comes in the box. Okay, let's take a look at what's inside, guys. This is the Ampeak. 1200 watt pure sine wave inverter. I believe it also has a peak of 2400, but we'll check that in the manual. Let's just pull that out. Oh, a nice orange color. Comes with the uh, manual. And we'll take a look at that later. Here is the uh, inverter. On this side, let's see. It has three uh, 110 plugs, has a couple USBs, an on off switch. And this is a telephone line, this is for a remote. And I'm going to use that actually in my motorhome because uh, my phone port is right where I'm going to mount this. And then I can go inside and turn it on and off from inside. On the top here, on the top here has a meter. Have some of the uh, specifications there, or what it has. And on the back, there's a couple fans. You got your positive and your negative. And it, it does say in the book to hook positive first and then negative second. I'll show that in the book. All right, and let's, let's just see what's in the bottom of the box here. One thing I was a little concerned with, it didn't have covers. So it came with a, some pretty decent sized wires and then they have the covers here for the, uh, the pole. So they're actually covered. You got a, a bolt, a screw and a nut, lock washer. And it did come with a wrench. Let's see, number 10. Okay, now this inverter comes with pretty much everything you need to set it up for simple setup the way uh, I'm gonna show you today except for the battery, and hopefully you have that already. So let's go over and uh, set this thing up, and I'm gonna read to you exactly how they say to set it up. All right, guys. Now it says here to make sure the inverter power switch is off, connect a red positive ring cable to the red positive terminals of the battery and inverter. So it says to hook the, the battery and the converter both up on uh, with, the red, with the red positive side. Connect the black negative ring cable to the black negative terminals of the battery and the inverter. Then it says turn on the inverter or the power switch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this up pretty much like they said, but I'll probably hook the, uh, the negative here last, just so I get a spark here and not by the battery. You don't want to get a spark near the battery in case there's any kind of fumes coming out. I, don't, I think the one I have is sealed. It's a lithium battery. But still, it's just better to be safe. What I do like about these is you see how they can move side to side. Like if, if your if your load was over to, or your battery was off to the side there, you could turn them that way. A lot of them you can't do that, so that's kind of a nice feature. And then it does have this nice covers for each of these, and, you, and they, they you have to stretch them over the top. They're like a silicone rubber, so it works pretty well. If you have to go any farther than this, guys, run some bigger wires, and this feels kind of like a silicone, like a. a like a silicone jacket, but it's a little stiffer than most silicone, but seems pretty decent. So we'll see. All right, everything's hooked up. We've got our 100 amp hour uh, Power Queen Lithium Premium 2. It's the uh, mini battery, 12.8 volts. Got my everything hooked up here. I didn't actually even notice a spark, so let's see what happens when we turn it on. Let me see if I can turn this around carefully. Okay. And the fan came on for a second. It says, looks like it's running. Let me see what you guys can see here. Let me throw the box behind it, guys. There we go. OK, 
Okay, it looks like you guys can see it says three watts right here on the screen. It says output 119 volts, 60 hertz, zero amps going out. Input is 13.4 and 78 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's showing the battery. Man, it got dirty already. It's showing the battery is charged. All right, let's find something to hook up to it. Well, shoot, I got something here right now. This is easy. We'll try it real quick. And I won't put it, I'll put it back there. And as you can see, it's already working at 16 watts. That's a, that's an LED bulb. Oops, you guys can't see it. Let me, let me pull back. You did see what it was drawing there. And there's the light. Turn the light off. And it goes back down slowly. Then back on. Back up to 16 watts. All right, let's find something bigger. All right, guys, we've got... Uh, you got your Power Queen 100 amp hour battery, 12.8 volts. You've got this hooked up, it's turned on, it's drawn six watts at idle. I've got a heater here. We're gonna leave it turned this way. First thing we're gonna do is turn on the fan. Now this heater on high is too much for this inverter. But right now it's showing 25 watts, 0.2 amps, okay? We're going to turn on the number one heater part. It's up to um, 506, well, 600 and, well, let's just wait. So it's drawing 900, about 900 watts, anywhere from 880 to 900. The fan came on, as you can hear. Okay, now the battery, the fan went off, so it must be cool enough. All right, now when I turn this on, we are going to overload this thing. It should surge for a second and then it will shut off. Let's see if it works. Okay, we're up to 13, 14, oh. Exactly right there, over 1300. Let's get you a warning signal. That's the overload protection, which it's supposed to do. I'll turn it off. We're gonna turn this back down to off. Turn it back on. Okay, and we'll turn the fan back on. There's the fan, and it's working again. So it resets once you turn it off and back on. All right, guys, uh, hopefully you can see the screen. So it's got a nice sine wave. So as it, it says it is, so good sine wave there. Let me go out of here. Putting out 119, uh, 120 volts. All right. Let's check out the, should be 60 hertz. And it is. Hopefully I got that in there. So that passes. Nice. Okay guys, I'm running this right now on just the fan. I just bought this uh, Kiwitz HT206D. I've got some work to do on my daughter's motorhome. It's got a draw, and we're going to see if we can find it. And I'll do a review on this later, so make sure you hit the bell. It shows right now that the uh, 23 watts is 2.6 amps. All right. Just wanted to show you that part, too. All right, guys, it passed all the tests and uh, did pretty well. I can't complain about it. It seems to do everything that it's supposed to do and does it well. I do like the orange color, it looks pretty cool. The other thing is, the size of this one is, is nice. I have a bigger one that I probably showed you guys in a, in a video before, and to put it in my motorhome, it was just too deep, and I was too afraid that it would, might actually contact the uh, positive to the metal. Also, I'd like to thank the good folks over at Ampeak for sending this to me so I could bring it to you guys to show you how it works and how well it works. If you did like the video, hit that like. If you're new here, Hit the bell, hit all, that way you'll get all my future videos. And I'm going to have a video on that, uh, that little clip on meter also coming up here pretty soon. So I'm Chuck, KK6USY. This is Ham Radio Ventures. Thank you for spending your time with me. I know your time is valuable. So 73 all, and hope to catch you guys on the airwaves.